Hi, this is Jim from over at jimdunkerly.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how I crop, scale, and optimize the JPEG graphic images for my websites. I use an open source image manipulation program similar to Photoshop called GIMP. Open source means that it's free to download, and for my purposes, it works great. If you're not viewing this video at jimdunkerly.com, I would invite you to visit the GIMP optimization post that accompanies this video, and you can find links to download GIMP. I'm going to work with an image of a funky looking guitar that I bought from Big Stock Photos, makeguitarmusic.com. First, I'm going to double click on the JPEG file, and it will automatically open up in GIMP as per my preference settings. You can see a lot of white space around the guitar. That's what I want to crop out of this image. Since I bought this from Big Stock, I know that it's going to be a large size image that's going to need to be reduced as well. I'll check that by clicking the image menu and selecting scale image. I see that the image is scaled at 72 dots per inch resolution, which is great. but as I noted, it's way too big for the website. I usually work in pixels, but I can change the size to show in inches. And I see that it's a bit over 8 inches wide and 12 inches high. Obviously way too big, but I'll worry about that after I crop the image. So to crop, I'm going to select the cropping tool, which looks a bit like the point of an X-Acto knife. I'll then click and drag my mouse to form a rectangular area around the guitar. When I release the mouse, the area outside of the box darkens. That represents what will get cut away. But nothing has been cut yet. I can still fine tune this cropping. I can do that by hovering my cursor over any of the lines. The cursor will change, to a, will change from a crosshair to this triangular shape. And once that happens, I can click and drag to either pull or push the line in or out. So I'll tighten up the right side and then I'll tighten up the left side and uh, once I get it the way I like it I'll just press enter and the dark area around the outside of the crop box goes away. So the image is cropped and uh, the way I like it and I can now scale it. So I'll go back to the image menu to select scale image. Again, I'll change the display from picas to inches by clicking the down arrow next to the picas box and selecting inches. In this case, I want the image to be 4 inches high, and I don't really care about the width. So in the height field, I'll type in a 4. And since this little chain icon is intact, it means that the width will shrink in proportion to the height, so the aspect ratio of the image will remain the same, which is what I want. So to make that change, I just click the Scale button. I'll go back to the Scale Image window just, just to double check, and I see my width is now a bit over an inch, and that's fine. It doesn't really matter in this case. Now since that original image was so large, GIMP was displaying it in one half its actual size. So you'll see that the image now is pretty small. So let's change the view so it will see the version at its full size. I'll do that by selecting the View menu and clicking Zoom, which opens up a slide right menu. And from that, I'll select the 1 to 1, 100% selection. And the image will now appear uh, the size it will be on the web page. So now that I'm happy with the cropping and the scaling, I can save the image, and at that time, I'll optimize the file size. So I just go to the File menu and click Save. I'm going to rename the image by adding a 2 at the end of the current file name. And I go down to the bottom right corner of the Save window and click Save. Notice this pop-up window. This is where we're going to optimize our image. But first, I'll move this Save Image window out of the way so we can see both the pop-up window and the image. Note the Quality Selection area at the top of the slider bar and the number 99 in the selection box. You'll also see this message file that says Size Unknown and this Show Preview in Image Window checkbox. We want to check that box to see the preview. And once we do that, you'll now see that the file size shows and it's at uh, about 22 kilobytes. 
I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to cut this file down considerably in size. So to do that, I click on the slider and I'm going to drag it to the left. And at the same time, I'm going to keep my eye on the image. The further to the left I take the slider, at some point the image will start to degrade. You also notice as I move the slider to the left, the file size shrinks. Uh, to show you quickly how um, the file can degrade, I'm just going to take the slider and move it all the way to the worst possible setting to the far left. And you can see that the image has artifacts and it's pixelated and it just looks really bad. And in fact, sometimes I actually like to work from bad to good, so I'll take the slider and start moving to the right. And I'm going to keep, keep my eye on the, on the graphic as I move the slider to look for the point where I'm not noticing any artifacts. They gradually disappear. Um, it's starting to look pretty good here, but I'm still seeing a little bit of um, artifacts in the uh, neck area of the guitar, which you probably won't be able to see on, on the video. Um, once I get up to about the point where the meter is reading 57 or 58, that's looking pretty good, and I'm not noticing any, any changes. So I think that's about as good as this image is going to get. It's at about 4.9 kilobytes which was a considerable savings over the 23 kilobytes that it was originally. So, since I know uh, that this image is as good as it's going to, going to be, all I need to do is click the Save button. And this image is ready to go. I'll be able to put it in my website. So that's it. That's how you uh, crop scale and optimize an image using GIMP. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.